Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Empirical Sword, where size plus gaming equals awesome. I'm Law Master DLC79, and this is Pyre, uh, the newest game by Supergiant Games, the makers of Bastion and Transistor. And I do realize I'm still doing Transistor on my channel. I wanted to have it done before I started Pyre, but that didn't quite work out. I mean, I finished Transistor. It's just I, I'm still releasing videos because I'm on a schedule and I'm OCD like that. Uh, but yeah, we're, I'm going to be doing this uh, as random bonus videos, except not quite random. I, I'm hoping to get a Pyre video out every single day. It will not affect my regular schedule at all, I hope. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're, I'm just going to be doing the campaign. I'm not going to be doing Versus because I don't have any friends in real life. Uh, that's not true. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah, I should mention before I do anything... Uh, one of the things I like to focus on on this channel is that school doesn't teach. Uh, it is our responsibility to take our education to our own hands. And why talk about this on a, on, on a video gaming channel? Because you would be surprised just how educational video games are. They teach you critical thinking and analytical thinking and other things like that. Things that school doesn't teach because school pretty much just trains you to show up and follow instructions and do as you're told and work in a factory and make cannonballs until you die from black lung. I'm kind of exaggerating, but not really. Anyway, start campaign. The desert question mark? Higher. In a desert. Maybe. Am I, am I supposed to click a thing? Yes. Uh, so, okay, we have a thing. A wagon with the horn. Oh, there's a little pyre symbol there. Uh, oh, 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 we, we broke down. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. <clears throat> now as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Uh, downside? Hey, vast purgatory which... <clears throat> to which to come along the cast. It's going to some enemies. None have been known to return to the, from the Forsaken Land. Continue or press space. Masked woman? That's a woman? Another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. I don't understand the language. See, right on schedule. what I tell you? You told us we would find someone alive. Am, am I not alive? Sunday, I said we'd find someone alive Sunday. Just not today, I guess, but don't be glum. You know, I, I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like she's breathing. Jeez, so women have hordes and men have a, a head shield. And what is this? A Velociraptor? I see a claw. That's a Velociraptor. Okay. Super she still is. And then stand aside. I shall send her to a better place. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Can we talk about this? She's a she? Can you people just tell? Hang on. The markings on her rags. I think she's one of them. them? But look at her. She's beyond our help. And we are beyond hers. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that. There, chum, see you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day grows dim. You have at best an hour. Uh, we'll be long. The other leaves, and the others... Uh, this is what happens when I try to read. After the others leave, the man turns toward you and begins unfastening his mask. Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal. Equal nothings here. Yeah, zero is equal to zero, I suppose. You are parched and he gives you a drink. You ache and he buys your wounds. You hunger and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. Yeah, turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now, come on. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. 
Nothing like the silly vessels that are that paraded the Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. Edward beckons you to enter the black wagon. Step inside. Well, that looks like it's my only option. The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back! And the guest. She looks at the class on her mask. Yeah. Okay, so women do have horns. You may call me How can I? She's the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging. Yeah, yes, she is. Yeah. Can I just call you Jorel? As for myself. Small and struggle to the mask, the system. Doggy! Ow. Doggy with a mustache. Mustache doggy! That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. He's the smallest yet loudest of the three mask wanderers who found you clinging to life. Such pleasantries out of the way, the honored woman then motions the other she glances at. You sidelong as she speaks. Can she do it? Hope so. I haven't asked her yet. Ah, oh, then what are we waiting for? Hey, assistant, nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Uh, depends on the language. Asking if you're a reader. Uh. Time you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth Decree. Literacy is a serious crime. No one in her right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Remain silent. Uh, who you are, what you did, or your citizens, no one's business. How can I remain silent? Stare back at Ruki, but say nothing in response. He stares back for several moments, then grows angry. Silent treatment, huh? No, no, don't you play dumb with us here. Understand the dumb don't have those kinds of markings. Those are something else. We know what you are. Neither, you lost your life. We ask for something simple in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. So you put your own spot like this, my friend. Okay, I guess it. Literally, this is my only choice. Have a look. So I just. Oh, oh, rickety ladder. My good centrifuge. What's. It? It's centrifuge? The wagon has a centrifuge? And there are some gibbering creatures up there as well. And there are eyeballs there. Call the robe, the center will be master of his walls. Side door! Okay. Books that apparently they don't want me to do anything with. Uh, uh, a lone minstrel. Figure sits very still in the corner of the wagon. Now is not the time to check on him. I see white hair. Rocks? Uh, 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 sigil! Some of those sense why the lower you can not sense his purpose. Boxes, cobweb, candle. I'm exploring here. Oh, okay, that's as far up as I can look. Closed door, the back, the black wagon's common room must be back there. Though you do not feel very welcome now. Ladder. Okay, so it's the book. One of several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles you met seem very interested in them. Interact to learn more. Pick up one of the old and heavy volumes. Bound in materials I do not recognize. Looks like plastic. Forward, a formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside. Such as we, the eight who wrote the book. Capacity to... Clean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from the forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming and glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the, 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 the nearest longitude funky fonts. Beneath the brightest of eight, as they align as shown, arrive as a triumvirate. 
clad in the raiments of the rites, bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. We got a constellation there. Okay, inspect. Oh. I could have just done that. Lessons learned! Okay, close. Book describes the complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Edwin gets your attention. Edwin? Okay. Oh, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. And everything goes black. And I got a loading screen question mark. Reader. What? Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? They made me. So soon after your sentence into exile. They made me. It is true what the book says. You can be free again. That'd be cool. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. Could I be you worthy? Witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights. The one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Um, it's by the grace of the scribes, um, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. It worked. So it is true. Yeah, but what now? And where does the reader go? She should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in her. She could have ended us. She won't. Well, the three of them be from beyond as Edwin then calls out to you. We have to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the outside. And now I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us, but first we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. Your focus all your mental faculties is relaxed. I have no idea what I'm doing. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Is this to approach the thing? C can I just do this? Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Uh, okay, pass the orb to this guy. And then pass to Rookie. Okay. The three must act as one. Hold shift to sprint. Whoa. Sprint until stamina depleted. Pass. P pass to who? Wait, wait. What? what? Okay, there, okay, that's all I'm supposed to do. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. So... Can I just pass? To, no. Do I do this? Yes. The exile Edwin has the way of it. Okay. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Okay. Oh, but it is not so simple. Uh -oh. In the rights you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. <laughs> beware the aura that surrounds them, and they shall beware yours. So approach the adversary here, okay. Can I just do this? First, the adversary. Okay. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Um. The aura is my wrong. What? Cast your aura like a stone. Cast it like a stone to this guy. Yep. Okay. Maybe hold. Go on. Correctly done. Okay. So do okay. that again. Just so. A glorious performance, I admit. 
more than I expected from the likes of you. Okay. Grasp the orb once more. The orb absorbs the aura, then the orb quenches the flame. Um. Now I say jump. Space to leap, leap and... with all your strength. Uh. There we go. Sails the orb into the waiting flame. Edwin is returned. Okay. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. Soon as the others are in form. Uh, 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 move, maybe? And go around this guy. Uh, 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 dodge, 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 dodge. Edwin plunged into their fire. Yeah, and take out that guy. Take out that guy. Oh, uh oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Go away. Ah. I wasn't fast enough. Okay, and just. You, uh, stay on the other side. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, that guy's fast. Okay. Well, where's the orb? Where's the orb? Where's the orb? Oh, is it way over here? Uh, 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 go fast. Sprint. And go here. There we go. There's another one. Ah. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. The orb slips from your clutches. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Edwin doused the adversary's flame. Did I win finally? No. I didn't mean to do that. Go away. Zap. Zap. Uh, don't have enough stamina. Go. The orb quenches the flame. Say what? What? Yeah, yeah, I overshot. There we go. The right is complete. There, dear reader. Now you understand. Just barely. Or do you? Uh, this was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you, you never listen. No, we think we can do anything. During the rites, only one exile on each side is permitted to move at any time. The three must act as one. I need to work on that. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> well, that was something. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars, or what? Where is she? Oh, that was a rookie. Okay. Supposedly. Is she like a demon or something? Reader, come let us regard the night. Re regard the night? Can we look at the sky? Jorel leads you outside. We're a clear night sky. Okay, we're, we're looking at the sky. 
Now show us before the howlers catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? Gaze at the stars. Seek out my destination. Um. Uh, Caprias, the olden star, star of the moon hunter. Let's get in here. Wow, this is a big map. I, I'm assuming this is a map. There's a lot of nothing out here also. Maybe I'm supposed to fill it in or something? What about, what about these little... Goal, uh, South Star. South Star burns bright over the massive ridge so much farther than I can, I can see. It right to determine the location of the next right. Well, I can't interact with this one? Nope. What, what about this one? Nope. So, only one choice. I have no idea what that is. Two hundred leagues due east, the Ridge of Gol. What's that? We saw the resurrection soon commence here. Fossil remains of the Serpent Titan slain by Gol Glathenalianianananan. Yet looms over the living in its shadow. Okay. Great, we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars, you should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Yeah, we make it. We have best get started. <laughs> uh, this will be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Jodariel turns. Jodariel turns to you, studying you. No, not to see us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is I'm glad you're on board, sister. Uh, okay. Killing on you, see you inside. Freedom, the rights are the key. It's a lot to take in. You know, and join them. Achievement unlocked, the reader. So I guess we're going to the next right. Right? Right. Downside Prairie. Okay. Right on Downside Prairie, the road is forked. There is a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you, we ought to take the North Pass. We got an associate hold up in Hollow Route. I uh, gotta pay a visit, too, besides. Fire on your associate. Whatever that means. We head to. Blooming pool. Southern run from the ceremonies, bathing in the springs. There, so they're just there to mock you. Okay. What? What is that? Okay. The southern route to the ridge of gold goes the humid area, hot with hot springs. Run off from the sandfold means no bathing in the springs. So they're. Oh. Okay. Okay. Pay attention. Got stuck in a bog all right. Spirit continues his headwind listens for a while. What are the reader cells then? She marks the way we get us there. The rights are meant to test our faith, then we must trust the readers and stays their path. No second guessing her along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's said all just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. Okay, weigh the options. Uh, so, destination is here. I can go here. Jodariel thinks she can find rare flora here. Do we have crafting and alchemy? Otherwise, that's useless. Okay, this one here who owes him. This could be a new companion. Basically, both of these guarantee that maybe we'll find a thing. Well, I can only choose one, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of bogs, and I don't like the idea of, of swimming pools mocking me, whatever that means. 
Let's go this way. Okay. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. How much time do I have left? About a minute. As you pass through the squalid little area, you hear a boisterous voices coming from what looks to be a public house. Ruki stumbles forth from it, holding something in his paws. <laughs> oh, uh, hey sister, just wrapping up a real important exchange back here. Hang on to this for me, will you? We'll have to drop it off if we head further north. Plain parcel, you cannot tell what's inside. Journey onward. Journeying onward. So we're getting to the place. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the ridge of Gaul. <laughs> Others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencements of the right. Commence the right. Page reveal, the first exile. Check. Press C anywhere to check inside. Or I can just click it. Okay. What? Drive imp. Creatures such as the best must have been bred to push the black button along. I can speak to Ruki. What, what is this? Uh, that's, no, wait. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's another drive imp. So, a, so these are drive imps. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Greentail family portrait. A reasonable likeness of a younger rookie with his mother and uncle. Rookie status nearby. Well, can we can we click on this? Can we click and drag? Nope. Seems there's something on us. Speak with him. Hey sister, I appreciate you uh, taking up taking us up the hollow route back there. Oh, that are you certain that personal fetch is an adequate price at Slug Market? Surely we could have procured some sort of some rare fungus if we go the other way. Uh, the only fungus. There's Jody, we said we wouldn't go around second guessing our sister's decision, right? <laughs> Jodari else has nothing in response, but soon changes the subject. So Might fall soon. Come along, Greentail. We have much left to prepare. Uh, two of them soon go about rummaging. Do the raiments of the Vox strut about them. Well, leave you to your own devices. Ooh, what is this? Cooking tins. What is Getting warmed up for night and night. I can't do anything with that. Okay. So, guys, look at the book. Look at the book. Uh, wait, is there. Was there a previous page? Was there a previous page? You know, perhaps the thrice cursed name of Solamur, the Emperor's Tsar, the first exile of my liege. Chap uh, this chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us went. Each was. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him and around his country. He will be found in Solamur, a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share with you his deeds. To know the story is to know his is to know the rights. Okay. So is there that that's That's the first page. Okay, I guess this is the second page, and then page three, page four. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, anything else? That's that's the door. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, don't forget to uh, leave some feedbacks down in the comments section, letting me know what I should improve upon and what I'm doing awesomely and all the things like as the, the feedbacks. The feedbacks are necessary for the improvings. And as always, remember the gaming is intellectual exercise, just as athletes need to stay in shape, so do intellectuals. And gaming is one of the ways in which we can do that as it helps us to hone our problem solving skills. And in the next episode, we're going to commence the next rite. And I have no clue what's going to happen there. I'm assuming it's more of the same, but I don't know. The dude with the freaky face said that that was only a glimpse of things to come. So who knows? 
Uh, we'll find out then, and uh, I will see you then.